Fairfax County. This is an anniversary year <laughs> for not just Fairfax County. Uh, this is Fairfax County's 275th anniversary, big deal. And it's also happen it also happens to be the Fairfax Symphony's 60th anniversary. I think that the Fairfax Symphony has just really matured and grown over the years. They are a demonstration of how much the arts has taken hold in Fairfax County. It's part of who we are and what we are. And we are going to have the opportunity to hear the world premiere of a Fairfax County musical piece that, uh, that was written by Mark Camphouse, professor at George Mason University. And it was actually my idea and my request that is part of the anniversary year that a piece of music be composed that can tell the story of Fairfax County musically. It was a great honor to be the recipient of this commission. It was a real joy because my second love is the study of U.S. history. And when I knew that the work was not, on, not only going to be a, a virtuosic work for the Fairfax Symphony uh, for their 60th anniversary, but that there were some historical things connected to the commission with Fairfax County going back so far, um, that it, it really whetted my appetite because it incorporates who I am as a musician, as a composer, with my genuine love and fascination of U.S. history. Fairfax County uh, um, um, started small and started 275 years ago, as did the Fairfax Symphony Orchestra 60 years ago. Uh, the actual charter for the orchestra is from Fairfax government from our Board of Supervisors uh, on behalf of the symphony. Uh, I'm grateful for the guidance and, uh, that has come from the county over the years and uh, the support that they have given to uh, the, the symphony. And frankly, the symphony is now growing yet again. And this summer we uh, had, in fact, uh, in residence, the Havana Lyceum Orchestra from Havana, Cuba. First time in approximately 50 years that there has been such uh, an exchange. Uh, we look forward to more of that and providing more and more relevance uh, beyond just the, the afternoon concerts or the evening concerts. And we're a part of the community in several ways, certainly at our main stage concert hall performances here at the GMU Center for the Arts. We also have a very extensive education uh, programs that we do in the schools, working with elementary, middle, and high schools. And last year we just started our All Stars Youth Orchestra program which is the best of the best in Fairfax County. Uh, high school students that audition to be a part of this program and then play side by side with the orchestra. Amit Paled is one of uh, the foremost uh, talented cellists in the world uh, performing today. And we're very excited to have him back with us. He uh, was with us last year as well. And after that performance, we immediately invited him back uh, for the 60th anniversary season to, to open that season. What's most uh, unique about Amit is he is playing on a historic uh, cello uh, that was made in 1733. It's a Grofiller cello that was uh, owned by the legendary cellist Pablo Casals. And he was sharing an incredible story with us this week that this particular cello that Casals was playing uh, played the Elgar Concerto that he was playing this evening with Sir Elgar conducting. Uh, and this would have been back in the, uh, the 1920s, 1930s. Uh, at that time. So it is quite historic and quite amazing to be able to have so much history and, and talent here tonight. Well, Chris Zimmerman, our conductor, has been with us for 10 years and he has uh, guided us through a, a, a ex exploration of a whole bunch of different types of music. Uh, he uh, really connects with our audiences. I think people love it when he talks to the audiences and explains what they're going to hear. This piece, Shehazada, maybe many of you know, it is a highly colorful musical portrait of the famous story of the Thousand and One Arabian Night. And so he has just been a tremendous feature of our orchestra. Uh, we're so happy to have him and we hope he stays many years longer. Well, the symphony is very much part of the community. We are reflective of the community. Our musicians are made up of uh, members of the community from the military bands, university professors, uh, high school and middle school uh, music teachers, and all types of professions uh, throughout the area. We are your friends and neighbors 
and we share that community connection and are very excited to be celebrating 60 years now of serving the community, not only in the concert hall stage, but also with our education programs. Music Always Fun can say so many things that words cannot, and it affects and impacts people in, in many different ways, not only from the education side and the studies that are being done to show how it improves grades and the academic level for students, the emotional connection that a piece can have uh, with an individual. It's very reflective of one's community and our times, and we're excited to, to share that energy, share that music with our community, and invite everyone to experience this. We try very hard to make our programs accessible for the public. Uh, ticket prices at all different levels. We offer uh, $15 student tickets to all of our concerts uh, to make them uh, have that opportunity to certainly attend as well. We offer master classes uh, with students and our guest artists, all many different programs to, uh, to make those available.